Hello everyone and welcome back. So today's tutorial is on this lovely headless horseman Manny and um, we're getting down to the end of our Halloween Manny's guys. So I've already got my tips prepared and this lovely Manny has just one plate and it's the clear jelly stamper C let me find the number on it here. There it is. CJSH-37. So, let's go ahead and get our stand. The base color is from the Miracle Gel Line on Sally Hansen. And the name is Hypnautical. 573 is the number at the top. I also used... LA Colors. Let me find the name on this. Uh, does this one not have a name? It's a silver glitter. I guess this one does not have a name. But there's another one that might. That looks just like it from the same brand. Uh, high Key. From LA Colors looks just like it. So it's got some slightly chunky glitter and fine glitters and silver. I used OPI's matte top coat. Many allergies is much free top coat. Okay, so I have Blackjack from Queen. Any black stamping polish will work. I have Coconut B268, Smoke Show B488, Lasso B395, and Luna B327. All from Maniology. Okay. So. I'm going to use this image right here. Where is there it is? On the thumb. And we're going to take our black stamping polish. Be very careful not to scrape too deep into it. because you'll lose your, your image if you do. Let's try this again. Okay. Prime example. And then dried out because I had to fix where I scraped too deep in. I want to have it kind of flush with the plate because it's such an open image. that I didn't get open image are difficult to deal with we will get it third time's a charm maybe no I scraped too much Yep, I'm scraping too much. Third time is not the third time is not the charm. This image has been such a pain this morning, and I don't know why. I didn't have this much trouble when I did the design. It's probably because how tired I am. There we go. That's better. And the spot where the trees are, if I need to, I can go in and fill in manually. I don't think I'll need to, though. OK, 
is. I don't have it up too terribly high. And we can use leftover. black stamping polish to fill it in like so okay now we need the lights for So this is where we're going to use lasso, and we're going to do this image right here. Carefully line it up like so. Hold on, let me find the image I'm looking for on... All right, it's the same image, just a different spot. So we're gonna take the same image, but we're gonna use this chunk right here. Sorry, I did the initial design a few days ago. So, I have to refresh myself on what images I used. Okay. So I'm going to pull that across the bottom, like so. We just want the trees and the bat in the grass. We just need a little bit of this open image to raise the ground level of the, the bottom of the nail so everything matches. So we're just going to go like this and we're going to raise the bottom level up like that. We're going to use this image right here to give it grass-like effect. Like so. Now we're going to go in with Smoke Show on the gravestones.
and we're going to go in this side like so, and this side like so. We want this tree with the black. Uh, but only after the moon. Damn it. I apologize, guys. We're going to need coconut for the moon. That's where I oopsied. Let's get our moon in there. And we need Luna for the details on the moon. This image right here. Line it up with the moon. Let's see if this will still work. Scrape the tree. Pick up. No, I didn't think it would. Picked up, but not very well. All right, let's get a better clean on this plate. Grab our tree. There we go. Stick it at the bottom edge, like so. I need the headless horseman. Okay, so this is where I'm going to end up having to use my detail brush sometimes. The images it just don't get picked up well enough. again. I think I got it on there well enough. So I'm going to pick it up again and layer it. Make sure that I got it well enough that you can actually tell what the heck it is. Yeah, we're good. <sighs> this next one is going to require a similar process. 
going to take and make the bottom part elevated here. Or attempt to anyways. Give it a grassy vibe. We're going to take and we're going to use these gravestones. those gravestones. I'm going to center them. The bottom of the nail at the top of the grass. Like so. Now we're going to take these trees with the black. I apologize, we use smoke show on the um, gravestones. I am really not all that awake today, guys. I apologize. And we're going to put them around the gravestones. And then we're going to take black and we're going to use this ghostly image here. Clean up around the image. We're going to lay it in the center, fill in any missed areas. on the image. Got a nice simple layered mani to take. Okay, so for this one, we're also going to raise up. And do the same thing we did before. We're going to raise up that, that spot. Like so. Okay. 
We're going to use this tree over here. Next to the moon. I'm going to take it off to the right hand side. Like so. We're going to use these gravestones above where the grass was with Smoke Show. And we're going to take them across the bottom like so. And around the edge there. If you accidentally go over the bottom with the gray a little bit, that's fine. Just go over it with black again. Not an issue. And then the last step here would be the bats, which we're going to use this one right here. It's going to be kind of hard to see this bat image right here. With black. Clean up around the image before applying. Apply the bats across the sky. You can leave it like this or you can add the glitter, which I'm about to show how I did it. But that is all the stamping that was required. But I liked having the stars like a starry night. So now I will add the glitter. And apparently launch a cotton ball. Come on, hold the freaking cotton ball. Why are we having so much issue all of a sudden? Today is not my day. It really does not want to cooperate today. What is the malfunction? does not like this cotton ball. This specific one it does not seem to like. Because it does not want to grab it. At all. And flung it in some more. Cool. It really does not like that cotton ball at all. Okay, so this is where we're going to get into some fun with the glitter. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our palette or our mat and get ourselves a nice, good, healthy amount of glitter polish and allow us to pick and choose what glitters we want to go where. You can take it directly from the bottle. I know to do that as well, but this is easier than taking directly from the bottle when it comes to glitter. It is just easier that way for this kind of thing. And we're going to go around our scene with the glitter. 
using mostly the small ones, but we want to distribute some of the big ones throughout there as well. Now mind you, keep in mind this is drying as you are applying it, so you kind of have to be quick about it. This is the hardest part. Otherwise you're going to go through a bunch. You can always add extra clear to make it easier to move it around. See, there's way too much of the, the chunky glitters in there now. So I'm gonna move some of these chunkies out of there and move them around and balance it out. Cat hair. Move some of these chunkies because we have too many in there. You don't want a bunch of the chunky, you just want a few. I'll give it a little razzle dazzle. I'm gonna go in with the little glitters. As you can see, this part can be a touch on the tedious side. You kind of want to make sure that you've got a nice balance. And our lovely night sky is forming. And we just want to fill in around all of these images. The bats are kind of hard to go around, but do your best to fill. 
fill in around the bats and kind of through the bats with the smaller glitters because that's the hardest part is getting those smaller glitters in there. because I need to get more polish on this mat real quick. Okay. So I'm going to go in between these bats a little bit with some glitter so it doesn't look so funky. don't want a ridiculous amount of the chunky glitters. There we go. We just want the little glitters primarily on this one. Okay. clean. Alright, so this is what it looks like at this stage. Now let's go in with the smudge free. And tie it all together. You can leave it glossy and add a glossy top coat over top or go with matte like I did so that way some of these details really start to pop. And I accidentally just dripped some smudge free top coat onto my mat. Cool. Get extra cleanup, it'll be okay. what it looks like glossy lots of shimmer and shine let's get these bottles put away okay so give that a second to dry And then we will add our matte top coat. Oh, I got lucky with that. 
I could not have been luckier. That landed completely up. It's almost disastrous. Let me clean a little bit that got on me off. So a matte spot on my nail. It'll be all right. These are getting changed here soon, anyways. Sorry about that, guys. I ended up launching it. It has been busy, 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 guys. You've hit the holiday belt, and I've just got so much going on. My mind's in a million places right now. Sinuses are acting up. Halloween preparation. Cub Scouts, the works, because all these kids' activities. And medical and it's been a lot, guys. And now my hook. Now though, my dear husband is on call and it's going to be an even funner week because I'll have less help. And I still need to deal with my hair before Halloween and my nails before Halloween to go with my costume. And the long stilettos I'll be wearing won't last long. <laughs> I don't do long nails and I would almost never wear stilettos. So that's how I did it guys. So this is a nice, simple, easy layered stamping mani to do for Halloween. And I actually really like this one. I did something similar to this on my husband's toes uh, a few weeks ago. And I happen to really like it, though I used a different base color and I didn't add any glitter. Um, I did do something quite similar. So I thought I would share it with you guys and make a full Manny similar to what I had done. And it's really cool looking. It's dark and spooky and I love it. And it goes shifts between purple and blue. So it's a good duochrome. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I apologize on the launched <laughs> matte top coat. That was not intentional. That stuff's expensive. And I certainly didn't want it to break or get dumped what was left of it. Because I got mm, about half a bottle of that. And I, which tells me I need to buy more. As much as I go through it. So there's another 12 bucks gone. <laughs> but it'll be okay, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and hope you found it inspiring and helpful. So I don't have any announcements currently. Um, I didn't get enough warning to warn you guys about the Christmas box, but by the time you guys are watching this, it has been launched and hopefully it would have been, it would have been launched the day before this video is launched. Hopefully it is still available to you guys. If it is, go ahead and use my code. I hope this didn't sell out the day of. In fact, I have to keep my eyes open for it so I can purchase it myself. And um, so to those of you who got your hands on it, congratulations. Um, if it's still available, you might want to and want it you might want to pick it up now 
If not, I, I am so sorry, you guys. <laughs> I did warn you that it was coming up soon, that I didn't have the date at the time, but that it was coming up very soon. So, you know, congratulations for those who have, and uh, it's it's been exhausting, <laughs> to say the least, guys. This has all been exhausting. This, uh, this month has been crazy with the kids. It's been crazy with all sorts of stuff. I've had friends and family birthday parties for kids and my wedding anniversary is coming up, Halloween's coming up. The kids have had all sorts of events and my oldest was running cross country and he had the last of his meets and he had uh, regionals and it's just been absolutely crazy. So Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all are having a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, whatever it may be, wherever you are at while you're watching this video. And until next time, guys, bye.